Well, the weather's crap, but the camper's not. This is a one owner Springdale uh, rear chair super slide, half ton towable, 7,000 pound job. Originally sold right here at Halet RV. Folks owned it, loved it for a couple years. Then they saw a beautiful used triple slide Rockwood, decided it was time to update and upgrade. And this baby looks just about the same today as she did when she was brand new here at Halet RV. I don't see anything that concerns me. Uh, another kind of interesting quality on these, there's a few sort of standout features on these Springdales, like the, the suspension is one that we'll talk about outside. The vaulted ceiling inside, that barreled ceiling is something you don't typically see in a wood skeleton classification. It really helps it look and feel open in here, it makes it kind of brighten right up. In the back we got a pair of swivel rocking chairs, all the windows around that open for airflow, and I like those extra large uh, like uh, rocking chair side windows. Now this also has this handy little USB powered, uh, well USB recharging, uh, remote control, and nobody ever changes the code. But you can control your awnings, uh, your awning lights, your slide, your stabilizer jacks, all right from here. So you don't even have to bend over to push the, the, the stabilizer jack button. You could literally do it, well, from here, although I wouldn't recommend that. You really do want to line of sight those things when you're setting them up. That is a tri-fold sleeper sofa, so if we do have a guest, you could plop them down there. That's adult size, which is nice. And uh, the dinette here can also fold down into a smaller sleeper, although that free-floating table allows you a lot of freedoms. If you want to take that table outside for picnic time, you could. I'd recommend a not rainy day like today. But you can also fold that down, use it like a coffee table, and have yourself like a little conversation corner going on back in here. Kind of a neat little thing. The uh, storage below the dinette's easy to get to with those doors. And you see all the original electronics are still here. You got your Bluetooth DVD player. Our TV, they've got it strapped down for transit, just like the chairs were before I got in here. They did everything right that they were supposed to. And that TV can swivel around and angle around. Now, this was made before everybody felt the need to have, like, 90,000-inch flat screens in their campers. So if you wanted to go to, like, a bigger 40-inch or something like that here, you do have the room to do that. You just have to budget how big and bossy you want the TV to be in this corner. Now, they did the kitchen very well over here, and that mechanical grinding sound freaked me out. I think somebody is taking the, um, oh, like, uh, hitch mounts off the tongue. <laughs> I don't know if you heard any of that. Anyway, over here in the kitchen... Like, usually where that oven is right there, that's where most kitchens in tra uh, travel trailers this size stop. But notice, like, it's cool. you got drawers and doors here, and they give you full access to everything. But then they continued it on another chunk further. And you've got four additional drawers all the way down the floor. And now we've got a dedicated little corner for, like, a coffee maker with extra power outlets, extra lights, and an extra overhead cabinet. Now, sometimes a brand might give you a uh, pantry right there, but notice they also gave you a pantry. They gave you more countertop, more cabinet space, and more pantry here. And that refrigerator, it's a little different looking. It is a seven cubic foot fridge freezer, which is something very similar to the Catalina campers that we have here at Halet RV. They also have a seven cubic foot fridge. A little bit different, it's about 17% larger than what you typically run into. So we've got a dual entry bathroom right here, as you can see. So if you do have somebody on that hide to bed, um, nobody really loses privacy, you know, in the evening hours if somebody needs to make a, a late night bathroom run. Bathroom is clean, well maintained, whole RV is well maintained. Everything is very well kept. Foot flush stool, plenty of leg room, and plenty of room to get dressed when you get out of the shower. That vaulted ceiling comes into play here, along with this smart placement of that uh, skylight. Means that you've always got good headroom in here, unless you're approaching seven foot tall. Then you're going to have to duck in just about any travel trailer, except maybe a big eagle or something like that. Up in the bedroom, the vaulted ceiling is very obvious. Uh, windows on both sides of the bed open for airflow. That second entry door means that this RV is always going to be fully travel accessible. You can get to the bedroom and bathroom there if need be. I like the dual side stands with their individual drawers, which is a nice touch. Also, you might notice that right up on the headboard, you've got household outlets, so you're very, very CPAP friendly. Man, I hope you appreciate the dedication. It is not fun trouncing around out here in the rain. But we don't let weather stop us from providing good customer service here at Halet RV. So we've got that extra thick aluminum nose on the front there. Um, Springdale's use a little bit more of kind of not a true blunt nose, but it allows them to do uh, a little bit different things with their bedroom cabinetry. 
a lot of people go, oh, it's not as aerodynamic as something like that Gray Wolf. Like, I get it that that looks prettier with that bullet-shaped nose. None of these things are aero-optimized, so don't let that mess with your head. Power awning, power tongue jack, four-corner power stabilizer jacks. This also has an enclosed heated underbelly with a 30,000 BTU furnace. Now, that doesn't make this some four seasons gonna go to Alaska in January camper, but it means that in spring, summer, fall, you're gonna be good. If it dips below freezing tonight, comes back tomorrow, you're good. All of our windows are tinted to help keep the sun out of it. And you might have noticed how the wheels on this have a wide stance stability axle system, very similar to say it's ultralight cousin, the Passport that we have here at Halo RV. That is something that, uh, what the tongue in cheek phrase here is stick and tin campers, typically does not have. It's a very standout feature on these and it really helps it tow nicely. This one's sharp. Pardon me for the brevity here, but I'm going to get out of the rain. If you have more questions, please contact our team. I think you're going to be very happy with what you see here. You do not appear to be inheriting someone else's challenges.